Deltacron, is it a new variant or a lab error? Recently, social media was buzzing with reports that scientists in Cyprus have discovered a new hybrid variant of SARS-CoV-2. Deltacron appears to be a hybrid of the Delta and Omicron variants. Other experts, however, have questioned whether this is truly a new variant, suggesting that the discovery could be due to contamination during laboratory testing. Medical News a few days ago examines both sides of the debate. On January 7, scientists in Cyprus reported that they had discovered a new variant of SARS-CoV-2. The variant, named Deltacron, is said to be a hybrid of Delta and Omicron. The scientists are led by Dr. Leandios Kostrikas, a professor of biological sciences at the University of Cyprus. SARS-CoV-2 variant has been identified in 25 individuals, some hospitalized and some in the community. The apparent Omicron mutations are located precisely and exclusively in a section of the sequence encoding the spike gene, amino acids 51 to 143, affected by a technological artifact in certain sequencing procedures. Writing on Twitter, Dr. Tom Peacock, a virologist at Imperial College London in the UK, also dismissed the findings, saying that, T. He Cypriot Deltacron sequences reported by several large media outlets look to be quite clearly contamination. In a separate tweet, he nevertheless clarified that this was not due to poor lab practice, stating that it happens to every sequencing lab occasionally. The evolutionary evidence appears to back up their comments. Several experts have stated that if Deltacron was truly a new recombinant variant, samples would cluster on the same branch of SARS-CoV-2's phylogenetic tree trusted source. Deltacron has attracted a great deal of interest in the COVID scientific community. Whether it is, indeed, a new variant that has emerged as a result of a combination of Delta and Omicron viruses from a simultaneous infection in a human or whether it happened because of a laboratory accident still remains to be determined. Dr. William Schaffner However, Dr. Kostrikas defended his findings. The Cyprus Health Minister also defended the findings, saying that the groundbreaking research made him proud of our scientists. While many experts have dismissed the claims that Deltacron is a new hybrid variant, others are willing to wait for more evidence. Speaking to Medical News Today, Dr. William Schaffner, a professor of infectious diseases at the Vanderbilt University Medical Center, Nashville, Tennessee, commented that, a further local epidemiological investigation in Cyprus is warranted to sort this out. The world certainly is watching. Whether that evidence will be forthcoming from Cyprus, or elsewhere, is open to question. Meanwhile, the Cypriot health authorities have stated that the new variant is not one of concern.